honestly, most of her... <laughs> I just dropped the palette. We can go ahead and begin. Ooh. Oh, my crease is creasing. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited to be playing with the new Pat McGrath Mega Palette. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana Artistry Palette. Pat McGrath, if you didn't know, comes out every single year. She comes out with these Mega Palettes. And although they're not like the same quality as her normal Motherships, as in there's no like fancy shades in here, like Blitz Astral shades, which I love so much. These are still really, really fun palettes to own because they're limited edition. She comes out with them for the holiday time. So I'm really excited to play around with this today. I'm gonna be creating three looks with this and I'm gonna do swatches. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe. I do a ton of videos just like this where I test out eyeshadow palettes. I am also doing 31 days of Halloween over on Instagram. It's a very, very busy month for me. So if this takes a little bit to get uploaded, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get into this video. Okay, so this palette features 18 new shades. So this is the packaging. I always love her packaging. When I did see the pink, I was like, oh no, it's gonna be pink like all her other palettes. Honestly, a lot of her Mothership mattes are pink, but I'm happy to say that there aren't that many pink mattes in here. And I actually really like the way that she divided up this palette. It actually does say it on the website. So there are three sections of this palette. And that's kind of what I'm gonna go off of when I'm creating looks today. So this is one section. The th first two rows are one section. The next two rows are one section. And then the last two rows are one section. If you have a hard time like trying to mix and match shades in a big palette like this, it's 18 pans, it's a lot. Then this is a great option for you. Normally, I don't really care. I can just go for one shade or like I can literally just mix and match everything. For the purposes of this video, I think I'm gonna create looks on each section. And I think I'm gonna start with this section right here because it's fun, right? It's super fun. I'm really excited. This is the first time we're getting a pretty colorful palette from Pat McGrath, so I'm very excited to play with this today. This one's for $82. We've got four luxe finishes, creamy textures, effortless blending, one stroke color release, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me go ahead and just put up my hair because we're going to start by swatching. I'm going to swatch each section as I create the look. Like I said, I want to start with the purple. I have a purple vibe going on. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to create all three looks today. I don't think I will because I have some plans. I will be comparing the other Mothership mega palettes that I have from years past at the end. I have to say already this is my favorite color story-wise though. According to her website, there are four different finishes and yeah, I can see kind of like shimmers, metallics. I see I see a couple of metallics. Kind of wish there were more. And then obviously mattes. We've got Nocturnal Navy, which is right here. Very, very pigmented. Kind of a scary blue, I'm not gonna lie. We'll see. Oh my gosh, wow. Eternal Amour which is the one right below. This is a metallic for sure. But honestly, I don't see very many descriptors on her website. So I'm, con oh my God, that is stunning. Wow. Violet Vixen. So excited about the shade. I am going to put this everywhere. <laughs> I freaking love purple. Oh, so pretty. And then we've got Lunar Lavender. This I think is more of a shimmer, yeah. So that's the thing about her palettes. Honestly, most of her... <laughs> I just dropped the palette. Most of her Mothership palettes have a mix of like metallics and then the Blitz Astral. The Blitz Astrals are like the special formula. So we don't really get a whole lot of just plain shimmers, to be honest. Then we've got Fabulosity, which is this one right here. Ooh, super pretty and pigmented. My swatches are something else, aren't they? And then lastly, we've got Aquarian Dream. I think this is a metallic. No, it's more of a shimmer. Definitely doesn't feel like crumbly like this metallic here, the Eternal and more, but it's still very pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna start off with Fabulosity, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush and kind of put that, oh wait, I have to prime my lids. I haven't even really done that. Let me do that real quick. Now that we're all primed, we can go ahead and begin. Oh, whoa, I have to relax. I'm trying to rush. I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing, but I do have an appointment <laughs> in like an hour and a half. <laughs> and I have to leave in like an hour and I'm like, I have to finish filming this. I wanted to film another video after this and I just don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's my day. I try to structure my day and like literally time block 
and I never do it with enough cushion, with enough wiggle room. I literally don't have a break. Not crazy, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> it was pretty pigmented and it blended out so nicely. I'm gonna take the purple here next. And I mean, I already took it, but like my memory card ran out of memory and that's just the story of my life, especially when I'm in a hurry. That's when my technology decides to play me. But this is a gorgeous shade. You already knew I was gonna take this shade and it's like applying beautifully, but I'm gonna take a little bit more of the first shade I took and just kind of make sure they're nice and blended together. I actually kind of want more of this first purpley, mauvey, whatever shade to be more apparent i do feel like i took this out a little too far and on the lid i'm gonna go ahead and take the rose colored i sprayed my brush a little bit this shade because it's super metallic and that's what i like on my lid personally either that or a matte i don't really love like a shimmer just like plain that's more for inner corner lower lash line in my opinion and i think that this color combo is so pretty we're gonna do some blue on the lower lash line it's gonna be epic i don't even need to cut my crease and look at how freaking pigmented that is stunning super foiled very metallic just like i like her metallics on the lower lash line like i said we're gonna do some of the blues let's start off with a dark blue and i might have to like blend it out so it doesn't look as crazy and stark because i have a feeling it's gonna look like a black yep it definitely does but i think adding the shimmer on top the shimmer blue is gonna be perfect since it definitely does look like a black almost i'm just gonna take no additional product and a new brush and just kind of like blend out the outer edges make sure that that blue just really pops through but i think when we add the shimmer blue it's gonna make it look more blue <laughs> i promise this is it just looks a little crazy right now but i think this is a good base for the shimmer blue let's go ahead and grab the shimmer blue on a different brush of course and see how that goes i feel like i might have to spray it yeah you see perfect it just adds a really fun pop of color just kind of different you know and then in the inner corner we'll take the lavender shade over here i think that's perfect it's like a cute little subtle shimmer and it ties both the top and the bottom together this is kind of a really fun pop of color sort of look i love it so this is the final first look i'm so happy with how this turned out i think it's so fun i want more color from pat mcgrath like a whole holy crap a whole ass mothership rainbow palette could you imagine that would be chef's kiss honestly really happy with how this turned out and let's move on to look number two okay so it's honestly a couple of days later because i had some other stuff to do um yesterday i had to do halloween looks anyway i'm here to do the second look i'm so excited we're gonna do like this little pinky reddish section over here i'm gonna take the pink first the brush is still a little wet new no. i just spot clean them i hate when that happens my freaking spot cleaner is a little broken so the um the sprayer doesn't come out that's gorgeous. I think her mattes are really, really good. And they're very consistent with the mothership quality, honestly. Yeah, I'll take this in the inner, like, half. I seriously love the mattes so much because you can build them up and kind of fake, like, there's two shades in the crease. Like, that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm kind of building it up so it looks like I'm adding, like, a darker pink and then blending out the very outer edges. Like, honestly, you could just blend them out with each other. You don't really need, like, a lighter shade to blend out. They blend out so nicely, so effortlessly. I really like this pink. I feel like this this side is a perfect like Valentine's Day. Well, even Christmas if you want to go for a red look. But honestly, this this side over here reminds me like of the holiday time. Like I would totally rock a green matte like this um on Christmas, but right now I'm thinking Valentine's Day vibes for this one. I don't know why. And the outer half of my crease, I'm going to take this shade over here. I always forget what shades I'm what brushes I'm using. This is a ref for 14. I was using a What's Up r105 brush earlier what's a beauty they have really great quality brushes very similar to refer very similar in quality and price point i really like refer brushes though i have to like deep clean my brushes i haven't in quite a while like at least a month once they're blended out they look very similar to one another but i am gonna deepen out the outer corner with a darker red shade so like that's the saving grace, but honestly, they look so similar. Just gotta blend these two together. Let's go ahead and deepen with the darker red over here. Again, perfect for holiday, perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna use a Ref for 13 brush for this. It's a little bit more dense. It's very stained from the blue eyeshadow look I did yesterday for my Halloween look. There you go, that's gorgeous. I don't know, I feel like this is a nice variety of mattes that we're getting, colorful mattes. And I, we haven't seen this 
before in a Pat McGrath palette, so I'm very excited. Reds are very hard to formulate. I do think it's getting a little patchy over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Again, reds are very difficult. I don't know. The crease is looking a little weird to me only because these two shades are just so similar. So I'm going to try to blend this out. What I'm doing is actually just blending a little bit in towards the pink so the pink doesn't look so like random, you know, even though it looks so similar to the red anyway. But I mean, everything is blending out nicely. This darker red is a little tricky, so you have to be a little careful, but that's like standard when it comes to red. A little bit of fallout, but that's again, understandable because... <laughs> Reds are very, very pigmented usually. I feel like I have to blend out this outer bit a little bit more. I just sprayed my Refer 02 brush and I'm gonna take the gold metallic because hello, it's a metallic and I freaking love metallic shades. Hmm, it's not picking up very well. I think this might be one you have to use with your finger. Definitely so much better. Very foiled very intense you don't have to cut your crease but you do have to use your finger okay on the lower lash line let's go ahead and use all the shades pretty much i'm going to start with the pink and this is a refer 26 brush and just really fluff that along the lower lash line then let's go in with the lighter red and really close to the lower lash line, let's do the darker red. I'm actually gonna take one more after that just to really amp up the lower lash line. We'll do it on the same brush and everything. We'll take this little bronzy shade over here because otherwise I don't really have a place for it. And I really like some shimmer on the lower lash line lately. I don't know, I've been loving that sort of look, so nice. In the inner corner, we'll take this little gold over here. It's like a champagne. I honestly wish it was more of like, I don't even know, like. A lush shampoo. Well, actually, it's really pretty. Wow. Okay, that surprised me. I thought it might be a little too dark for the inner corner. But no, it's it's nice. I like it. I just remembered that I didn't do the swatches. So let's just do them real quick. Just for my own sanity, I just really want to see how everything performs swatched. First, we've got Auburn Allure. That's the deep, like, brick-toned red. Kind of like failed that swatch, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Heavenly Bronze. I would say this is more gold than bronze person. Well, no, okay, I guess not, you're right. I'm here thinking that it was a gold. Venusian Peony. I love this pink. I think you can do like a really fun look with the purple. Oh my gosh, it'll look so pretty. Again, you don't have to like keep it within the sections of the palette at all. Then we've got Golden Angelica, which is more of a shimmer that's the one i put in the inner corner flame fatale i have to say that's the most perfect name for this shade it's like that reddish orange shade i love it i like a coral shade starlit copper which is another shimmer it's a pretty intense shimmer though i like this section of the palette do, do i like it more than the first one i did absolutely not but it's still really nice <laughs> okay so this is the final second look i'm really loving how this turned out i love this lip too this combo is milani fruit fetish cherry lime lip oil it's super pretty with like a touch of this lunar beauty liquid lipstick in the shade aphrodite in like the center i think it matches really nicely actually really happy with how this turned out what do you guys think let's move on to the third look which i'm really excited for for this last look i'm obviously going to be going towards the greens but let's swatch them first because i didn't do that last time first we have nightfall which is a matte cool toned deep brown Gorgeous. Bronze Infatuation, which is a metallic. Yes. I love it. Then we have Altered State. That is gorgeous. I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> Obviously, it involves that one. Cosmic Champagne. Perfect inner corner highlight type shade. Beautiful. And then we've got Desert Divinity, which is a cool toned brown like a good crease shade guilty opulence is this the metallic this one seems like a metallic too maybe it's just a shimmer but it has like an olive undertone super pretty i like it but i think i'm going to do just one shade in the crease see how that goes a little nervous about that but i'm going to start with a refer 14 brush and that shade because this is a little bit of a fluffy brush so it'll go on a little bit lighter, like a light-handed type thing, and then I'll try to deepen it out. Oh, it's such a pretty shade. Please perform well. Oh, my crease is creasing. How annoying. 
Yeah, it's my primer that's creasing though. So hopefully I can fix that. I love this shade so much. I love a good green. You see how well it's blending? Now that I've got it laid out though, I'm gonna take a rougher 27 brush and this has no product on it. And just kind of blend out the outer edges. Now I'm gonna try to build this up with the same rougher brush. First, I might go in with a more dense one. It's working very nicely, actually. So I'm patting it down, and then I'm blending out the edges. I'm actually going to try the opposite approach on this eye and just kind of see which one's the better way to do it. So I'm packing on the shade first on the entire crease, and then I'll blend it out. And then it's all packed on with the same brush. I'll just kind of swirl it like that. I prefer the other approach. So I prefer to go in with the matte blending it out in the crease like a transition shade and then deepening it out because it's kind of hard to blend it out once it's like stuck on there honestly this is my primer right here if you can see that line there it's so annoying on the lid i'm gonna take the bronze shade over here i wish there was a little bit more variety although these two bronzes are so different this was more cool tone for sure i don't know i just see myself wearing this on christmas Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm not cutting the crease, but I am using my finger because I did learn. Ooh, that has a lot of fallout. <sighs> no. This one's like a lot more crumbly than the others. Definitely spray your brush. Use a glitter glue. Do all the things. I should have cut my crease. Like if I was doing this for Christmas, I would definitely cut my crease. Let's see if I can. Okay, good. Whenever you get fallout, use a really fluffy brush and very lightly like pat it away. Perfect. On the lower lash line, let's start with this light brown. And that's going to go all over. And then let's do the deeper brown. Kind of close to the lower lash line. Then we're going to take the olive little shimmer as well. And I'm going to try to do that really close to the lower lash line. Then obviously in the inner corner, I'm going to take the very last shade. The shade I haven't used yet in this palette. And that's this one. Perfect inner corner shade gorgeous i think i have the perfect waterline shade uh eyeliner let me see raw beauty christie's um color pop collab it's like a gorgeous forest green okay so this is the final third look i'm really happy with how those turned out i think it's a lot of fun i think it's very holiday-esque Catch me wearing this on Christmas, honestly. Overall, I really like this palette. I like the packaging. I like everything about it, honestly. I'm glad we finally got some colorful mattes from Pat McGrath. Now let's do a, a few comparisons. Not, I mean, I'm not gonna like swatch. I don't think I'm gonna swatch anything, to be honest. I just wanna show you. I don't know, I always forget how dirty these get. That's the only thing. My new one's pretty dirty too. Anyway, this is from last year, Celestial Odyssey. Not very many similar shades in here. I mean, but maybe besides the bronzer, bronzers. The bronzy shades, they're pretty different. If you're hesitant about this year's, I would say go for it because they're completely different. Cooler mattes, honestly, because last year all of the mattes were brown or mauves, which is just what she does in her motherships anyway. It's kind of annoying. We've got the year before, which is Celestial Divinity. This was my first ever Pat, Pat McGrath palette, and I really love it. It's still one of my favorites, but it, it only has three mattes. I don't use it as a cohesive unit most of the time because i feel like i have to dig into other palettes for other mattes i have to be honest though i prefer this packaging over the bulky like kind of plastic i wish you would bring it back i know i might be in the minority here you got some fun purples in this palette too i feel like they would make really good companion palettes there's also a really fun duochrome in this palette this one so fun love it there's no dual chromes in this palette at all in the new one I wish that she would have brought like a really like special kind of duochrome. I know she's not going to put a Blitz Astro in here. The, the metallics are very nice, but she also raised the prices of these. I just feel like every palette has its like drawbacks as well as its, you know, positives, of course. But I mean, overall, this one is so much fun. Just in general, the mattes are very fun and colorful. The formula is fantastic. I wish you would put more metallics in, I'm not gonna lie. This is such a fun palette. Let me know if you wanna see more looks with it. Maybe I'll do like a chick chat get ready with me one day just using like the palette in general and not like in the sections like I did it. I just felt like I had to stick with the section because like I kind of wanted to do it the way she intended for it to be used, you know? Let me know if you pick this up or if you're planning on picking it up. I think it should be coming to Sephora soon if you're waiting for that. I'm also waiting for her to drop the rest of the collection. I did pick up the other two small palettes. They should actually be delivered to me tomorrow. So I might get that video up soon too. I wish she would have dropped the entire collection all at once. That's the un like pretty annoying thing that she does every year. Let me know which look was your favorite. I'm between one and three, although I really like two as well. It just wasn't my favorite color story of all time. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please 
please give it a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye i don't know what kind of look i'm gonna do yet <laughs> and then in the outer half of my lid i mean i've in the outer half of course people are outside making a, a bunch of noise wow this is really dirty hold please <laughs>